Hey YouTube world, this is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV and I have here the Kudo TV box. Um, I ran across this when I was doing some research on Amazon and it looked very interesting to me. It had a lot of, a, a lot of stuff that came with it. Um, I'll show you the website, I mean I'll show you the, uh, the ad on website for the, for the device. But yeah, it's, it's, it sounds pretty good. Uh, I read the reviews and it's and you know every, the the reviews uh, were pretty good and from from what I've read, some of the people said that they basically did not have to you know do much programming for the box you know they didn't have to do much pro programming for coding. Uh, most of the add-ons were already there. They basically took the the TV box out and plugged it up to the TV and it was working. You know, and they were they were up and and streaming uh, movies and and watching uh, sports and all this good stuff. So um, that's what some of the reviews said. I'll, I'll show you you know the uh, website and you can go check it out. Um, here it is right here. Okay, it is. I got I, I bought mine from Amazon. Um, but I'll also go to the uh, the Cody TV uh, uh, Android Box website. They they do have their own their own website. Right now, it is currently unavailable. Um, but you can see there's 41 41 customer reviews. I'll close it up for you. 41 customer reviews with almost five stars. So that's uh, that's you know that's saying it's pretty good. Um, this supposedly has a wireless uh, keyboard touchpad keyboard with it included um, <clears throat> and you know basically it's got the Kodi in it and and all of the other things that go with this this is an Android based mini PC okay um, it's uh, it's it seems pretty good uh, at the time of this recording I purchased this for 140 40 not let me see make sure make sure because they got it on the website too so let's go to the website and check it out uh, yeah, a hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cent. It's actually sold out on their website too. So that's saying something. It's saying something. Uh, you know, the device is sold out on the website. Um, I would, you know, take my, you know, go to the website, guys, and check it out. Code uh, kudo tv dot com. Okay. Um, I'll show you show you a couple things. There's 16 gigabytes of storage inside, two gigabytes of RAM. It's an eight times 3D GPU on this. Um, it's a quad core processor, guys. This thing, this thing is smoking. It's got all the latest specs. It's even 4K ready. It's, you know, you can play 4K, uh, stream 4K that is. So um, yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I got the humongous steak knife today and this is a real unboxing guys as you can see um, none of the tabs have been open okay all right so let me just take before I open the box let me just take you around it a little bit okay this is what's on this side okay right here kudo TV box 4k CPU Cortex, alrighty. Uh, got an eight times GPU Mali 450 on here. So this is pretty pretty unique. Um, it actually has a clock on the face of the device. Most of the Android TV boxes, usually all you see is just um, an LED light to let you know that it's on. Uh, but this actually has a top uh, a clock on it. So this is this this is pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, oh, I didn't show you guys this side of the box. Uh, it's got Cody, YouTube, Netflix, Facebook, Twitter, and Skype. Uh, your, you know, your usual, your usual apps that you see with the Android TV boxes. Uh, okay. And again, guys, this is, you know, um, not just for my core quarters and anybody who's interested in this, uh, in this type of, uh, in this type of, you know, electronics. Um, okay. You know, this is for anybody who's uh, interested in my channel. Basically, you know, I'm just trying to help people out. You know, give them different options. Uh, you don't have to be stuck under the satellite companies, the cable companies, guys. You don't have to. You got options today. You got options. If you're not capable uh, of getting complete over the air where you live, 
this is an option for you okay this is an option uh, you buy one of these boxes if you're not you know any and even if you can get over the air channels you still might be interested in this box this might this might offer you something um, with the with what you get over the air for free <coughs> all right guys this is really really nice um, it's metal it's cool to the touch I like the um, the polish the polished edge here this is nice okay so you got a um, a regular a standard SD card right here and uh, SD card reader okay um, this is where your um, IR uh, your infrared uh, sensor is and then also your uh, clock face let me see is there anything else on this side no um, you got your air vents underneath okay and then this is your Wi-Fi antenna and then you got two um, USB ports uh, your HDMI Ethernet your this is an audio video out this is audio video out so this is basically you know when you have one of those um, what do you call it a, a pigtail uh, it, you know it's it divides into three is one on one side there's a just a regular plug-in a 3.5 millimeter uh, plug-in on one side and then on the other side you have your RCA jacks okay uh, this is your optical which is pretty cool you can just plug this into your sound bar or your you know your surround sound whatever you have uh, and then your power so this is this is really nice um, and it, it's got a little heft to it too guys it's 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 Man, it's really well built. Um, nice rubber feet on the bottom. It looks good. It looks really good. So let's see what else you get in the box. Okay. Because like I said, I bought this one because it's, you know, it said that you get a lot of devices. I mean, well, you get a lot of equipment with it. Okay. So right off the bat, we get a, an HDMI cable. Um, this is your power, your power adapter okay so let's see what the voltage is on the power adapter it's pretty much you know, similar most of them have like a 12 volt power adapter um, and I would probably imagine that this is a 12 volt power adapter too uh, okay 5 volt 5 5 volt power adapter okay so something like you would you know see for your so it doesn't take that much power Okay, you got a really nice remote right here. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's see what we got. Okay, so basic remote, not much to it. Right? Here's a profile of it. Okay, so it's got a little hump in the back. So yeah nice tactile buttons on it and let me see what else you get okay so you get in here you got your manual your Cody manual code kudo manual I keep, I keep saying Cody I got Cody on the brain guys uh, and you get a free wow check this out okay so you get a free uh, wireless touchpad keyboard now that is nice this is just like the re remote that I uh, touchpad that I reviewed uh, on my last uh, on my last uh, uh, video. I reviewed and they give you this free. You get this free. Well, I wouldn't actually say it's free, but they include this with the uh, the package that you get. Okay, so that's nice. So you got so they give you a remote and then they give you this too. See, otherwise, normally most most of the TV boxes, all they do is they give you this, right? And then you would have to buy this separately. But this company here gives you both of them, so that's a win right there, guys. It's a win. You got in um, whatever. What this is what's left in the box. You got um, a manual for that, and uh, let me see. So yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, guys. I'm sorry about that. Apologize. I had to. My battery is running low, and I had to replace the battery. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, you usually don't get this uh, with most of the Android TV boxes out there. 
you usually have to buy this separate. Um, and I think this is a really, really cool. Uh, this is, I think this is really nice. You don't have to go out and spend extra money to buy you a keypad, which you so, which you surely need if you're gonna buy um, one of these TV boxes. Okay, so let me put this in here, close some of this stuff up, get it out of the way for you guys, and we'll do a streamline here. Okay, so this is like I said, this device is really really nice. We're gonna file that off to the side and your instruction manual booklet so here we go let me get that out right here okay so we have your kudo kudo tv box uh, you get an and uh, and you know regular remote and then you get a wireless keyboard touchpad keyboard and your power supply okay so this is what all comes into the box uh, when you when you receive it let me see this should have a Bluetooth dongle uh, I just want to make sure yep Bluetooth dongle and a 3.7 nope it's an 800 milliamp uh, battery in here so basic 800 milliamp battery I'll be testing this, testing this out uh, now I do currently have the uh, re remote the RII remote I still have that um, I decided to keep it because it's just such a nice device so I'm gonna see if this um, is gonna you know if this is the same as that so yeah this should be good so the next portion of the video guys is gonna be an actual review of the product I'm gonna have it plugged up to the TV and we're gonna see it in action I'm gonna go through it and see how fast it is um, that's one of the things that this box was touting that it's really fast it's faster than your average uh, T, uh, you know, your average uh, Android box, TV box, or streaming device. So, but just, just again, I just want to state that this is a, you know, I want you to think of it as a miniature PC, guys, because you can go online with this. It has a full web browser. Uh, it has a full web browser. Uh, everything that you do on your Android tablet or your iPad, you can do on this box plus more. Okay. So um, this is, you know, you can think of it as a uh, media PC or streaming PC. Uh, that's exactly what this device is. Um, so, I mean, it just, if you guys decide to buy it, I mean, it feels really good and it has uh, metal, it's a metal device. So, I, I mean, I can't go wrong, you know, I, I, I like it right now. Just, just from the unboxing, I like it, guys. It's good to go. So like I said, um, the next portion you'll see uh, is me, you know, uh, doing the uh, connect, you know, it'll be connected to the TV and then I'll be going through the, uh, um, the, the menu and stuff like that. Okay. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, and I'm back. I have it connected to my TV, my entertainment center. And as you can see, it's fixed right between my TiVo, my TiVo OTA and my ps3 so and it was real simple to connect it guys there's only three connections in the back let me show you those connections right quick like okay so we have the um that's a that small little dongle right there is an a usb dongle to the wireless touchpad that you saw in the up uh, in the unboxing uh then you got your hdmi then you got your ethernet and your power okay so real simple connections it was only three of them it took me less than five minutes to, to uh, connect the box and we were up and running okay uh, as you can see right here in the front there um, this uh, LED I mean well you know it's LED display um, the box is currently turned off right now so um, that's why you don't see anything but other than just a little the little power indicator right there but other than that um, let's go ahead and get into the review all right here we go we're at the boot up screen it only takes just a couple of seconds for it to come up to the home screen kudo tv this box is um it's got its pluses and minuses um, so here's the the, uh, the startup screen right here. Let me 
see if I can straighten it out for you guys. This is the startup screen. And uh, it's pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty regular as far as Android TV boxes go. Um, if you're not familiar with Android TV, this is one of similar screens that you will see the, the home screen. Um, and um, so we'll go ahead and, like I said before, this, this box has pluses and it has minuses. So we'll let's just go ahead and get into the pluses first. I'll tell you what I liked about the box. And then uh, and the, uh, on the second part, I'll tell you what I didn't like about about the box, the, uh, the Android TV, uh, the minuses, you know. So let's begin with the plus. The plus is it was true what Cody TV, with the description on on Amazon on Amazon's website. Uh, I took it out of the box and connected it to the TV, and I did not have to program anything. It was already set up. Now this box is rooted. For those of you who may not know what rooted means, um, it just basically means that this box is unlocked. Um, and unlocked, it would be the same thing as have full user uh, permissions or administration permissions. So you got full administration permissions on this box, meaning you can take all, you can delete anything that you want, any app that you, you may see, and you can install apps on here. Now, there's some, some pros and cons to that. So the pros is that you can adjust the, the Android TV box the way you want. You can, you can customize it to your liking. Um, the con of that is that if you're not exactly sure about what you're doing, you could potentially mess up the box. So um, for me, I'm not like I said, I'm, I'm not that I don't consider myself uh, an advanced user. I don't. Um, I do know a lot of a lot of tricks and I do know some tips, but I don't know the intricacies of, of Android TV and and the the, the operating system itself uh, to, to do, a, a, you know, to really get in there and move stuff around. Um, so, you know, I'm, I, I consider myself just an average user. Um, I bought this box because I read the I read the, the reviews on it and um, the reviews people were saying that. Take for instance, like Cody, uh, Cody came already pre-installed and it already had the add-ons added. So I was really thrilled when I saw this. So this is really cool. Um, already there, the add-ons already there. Okay, TV, shows, I mean, sorry, movie, uh, TV, channels. Uh, this box, man, I'm telling you, this box has it all. Um, so let's just back up out of this right quick like and so there you have it you know you got all your add-ons already there i did not have to do anything to cody it came like this guys when i turned it on I, and i tapped into um and i tapped into cody it was there so i mean just just awesome um i'm not the one i'm i don't like messing with cody that much because i kind of feel like i don't there's so much about cody that i don't know and I don't all the time want to, you know, I don't want to always get out the book or get out the, uh, the, the, the tablet and start searching around on the web. And, and I, I don't feel like that all the time. So a lot of times we're just like, you know, just regular people. I want to sit down and I want to watch something and I want to enjoy it. Okay, so um, let's go to apps, my apps. Um, and this is what already came pre-installed uh, when, when I turned the box on, okay? So you got your clock. I mean, just all this stuff. Now this is ES File Explorer. Okay, you normally have that when your device is rooted already. Okay, so that that was something that was cool. I you know to notice um, Hulu. I had to install myself. That was cool, and I got that up and running. Um, Amazon Amazon Video. It did not have Amazon Video. I had to I had what had to do what you call sideload this guys. Um, I went online. I found the APK and I downloaded it and it works just fine. I'll show you. Here's the sign in screen. I hadn't signed in yet, but it works just fine. I tested it out. Um, here's Hulu. I did sign into Hulu. Um, so yeah. It, 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 the box works and and just for the ease just to let you guys know for the ease the use of this um 
the speed is is relatively fast. I mean, it, it does have, you know, it does have a, a an, an A9 quad core processor in it, and so, I mean, you definitely see it. I, the way I can bounce back into it's, it's just so fast. It's really really nice. Okay, so let's go on down. You got Netflix. Netflix comes up real nice and smooth. Um, look at that, guys. Nice and smooth. I'll just play something for you right quick. Like, let's play iZombie. Let's see. Let me see. We'll play iZombie and see how fast iZombie comes up. I saw him. No wonder Clive doesn't want my help on this case. He's a dirty cop. Oh, Liv, slow down. Look, what okay, let me turn the volume down a little bit. Let's not jump to conclusions. You know Clive. But do I? Do I really? You're right. Then yeah. So I don't want to get a uh, copyright infringement. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn the volume down. Now, if you if you can see it, I, I hope you guys can see it. It just clicked into HD. Okay. So just a, just a little note about these these apps. Um, let's go ahead and back out of that. Just a little notice about these apps. They're not like the full the full fledged app. These are um, these apps are considered like um, cell phone apps or the apps that you would download download to an Android cell phone. It's not the the full. So basically, what I'm trying to say is the the highest resolution that you're gonna get from this app is 720p. Okay, you're not gonna get the full 1080p or um, you know how on some shows Netflix uh, it automatically adjusts you know to your to your whatever your setup is so if you have a 4k television set and you have uh, fast enough uh, internet speeds it you know Netflix will adjust for you it will go all the way up to its 4k setting if you do have if you're watching one of those 4k setting shows um, but other than that you'll either just get 1080p or you'll just get or you know you it'll throttle you down to 720p but on these apps right here, the most the, the most that you will get is 720p because they're considered like uh, cell phone apps. Then I read up on this; it is not the full blown uh, application that you would see if you were on a, a PC or a Mac or something like that. Here's Plex that I downloaded, and uh, it comes up super fast, no problems whatsoever. Uh, let's go ahead and watch um, the Avengers now. This is something that I found very interesting. Uh, Plex, if you have whatever you have on your 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 home um, server, so uh, Age of, Age of uh, Age of Ultron, the Avengers, it's in 1080p for me. Okay, I have it in 1080p, and so uh, the box will display it. It will play it in 1080p. So I thought that was cool. Let me see if I can just get it to pull up for you guys. Uh, and will it play? Play. Okay, so this is where I have to get my, here we go. Automatically comes up. I'll show you just a little bit of sound. Just a little bit of sound. Yeah, I mean, it comes through crystal clear. And just to show, just to let you guys see, um, I am watching 1080p. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the um, the mouse the the, um, the mouse pad here. And so we should be able to see. It should show us right now 1080p up here. Um, where was it? Okay, well, my bad. It was. It's, it'll it'll just only show original. So my original. Originally, what I have it in is 1080p. That's the format that I have it in, and so um, it comes out crystal clear. I didn't have no problems with this whatsoever. So let's go ahead and back, bounce back out of this. And um, so, as far as speed, as uh, as far as speed, it is super fast, super quick. Um, as far as downloading your apps, it was super easy for me. I did have to uh, do a little bit of programming. I mean a little bit of research but when I found out when I figured out how to uh, download the apps it was super easy I didn't have any problems now um, the native re resolution on this box is gonna be 720p okay but you c but to get 4k um, you either one have to download the file 
the 4K format or whatever you're watching. Um, or they have, uh, you can go into Kodi and Kodi has some 4K um, um, content that you can watch. Okay, so it's not much, but the box will display, it will display 4K and it will, from my understanding, my television set is only 1080p, but from my understanding, it will decode 4K. So if you have a 4K file, it'll decode it and play it for you. And there are some 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 places where you can get 4K content on, on here. Uh, Kodi is one of those places. YouTube is another place where you can get 4K. Uh, but the particular YouTube uh, application on this one is an old model YouTube. I'll show you. See how it comes up? So this is not the, the, the YouTube that we know. This is an older model YouTube. Uh, I think this is something that was that was made for Android TV, uh, but they don't use this format anymore. So yeah, uh, it still works, but the highest resolution that I saw was 1080p on this. Uh, I didn't see, oh no, I'm sorry, 720p. That was the highest resolution that I saw for YouTube. I didn't see anything else. Uh, the show box, really, really, really nice so we'll just do this later remind me later uh, these are movies that you can add to your library and go back and watch okay um, now this box does have let me see if I can find it you can watch live TV live streaming TV right here uh, film on film on TV um, now they do have paid options. They do have paid options that you can you can either pay by the month or you can pay by the year, and you can get live TV on your on your your Android TV, and it is nice. It is nice. So let me see if I can just manipulate the the uh, the guy for you guys. So when we come up here, let me see here. Alrighty. So these are all the channels that you can get for free. Okay. But they do have paid channels. They do have paid channels which you can pay TV. And I'll click on that. And these are all the ones that you can pay. Docu, documentary TV, um, fashion box. So these are um, different channels that you can you can choose to, to, to pay for. Okay. And they have all kinds, all kinds. I mean, oh, they have uh, uh, international channels that you can check out. They have shopping channels. I mean, it, it is fully, fully good to go. Let me see. Let me just pull up one channel right quickly. I'll pull up one of the free ones. And so I'll let you see what it looks like. Now, from my understanding, you will only get standard definition from this. Okay, guys? You, It's not like you'll see. Uh, let me, let's go into okay kid rock tv um you you won't get hd te television unless you decide to pay for it um that's if you're going through this application uh cody has its its own uh free television too um and you can do some you know you can do some so this is just one of the channels free tv for kids and let me just go full screen so I'm, I'm telling you guys this this box i was really surprised because i've never seen um you know you you this is not the first uh android tv box that i've had and a lot of them tell you that you can do you know live tv streaming live tv on it but it's, it's really hard and convoluted to get to it but this was really easy it was already set up it was already set up so let's just go ahead and back out of this right quick like guys so yeah, that's uh, film on TV. Just totally awesome. I, I can't say enough about it. Okay, so. And uh, this box is super fast. The processor in it, the chipset that they have in this box is good to go. I have no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, let's go back to the home screen. So I showed you guys Cody. It was already set up out of the box. I didn't do anything to it. Um, I showed you guys all my apps. Uh, down here at the bottom, these are the most most used apps that you see. So, yeah, I mean, it's 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 good to go. What else can I tell you? Um, 
this right here you can add a video on I me mean, online video you can add whatever streaming uh, apps you want you can you can add um, you know crackle uh, Hulu if you choose to add it in here uh, Amazon video if you choose to add it in here and well, we already have Netflix and YouTube those two already came pre uh, pre added already so um, no problems there now the remote is super easy to use it's fast it's um but it doesn't have this I'm going to show you right here the remote doesn't have like you know a, uh, the stop and pause button you have to use your your wireless keyboard for that okay so this came in totally totally cool for me so yeah guys I didn't have any problems with the, the touch the wireless touchpad keyboard um, my advice would be if you purchase this box you will get it um, if you purchase another T Android TV box any other TV box I definitely say always have a, a, a wireless keyboard to go with that box because at, like I said again at the heart of this device it is basically a, a miniature PC or a streaming PC so definitely keep that in mind if you're if you're thinking about purchasing one of the, one of these um, one of these boxes okay um, so let's get into the minuses right quick like the minus is um, there is no customer contact there's no way to contact the 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 company so let's say if you have a, if you bought this box and you have a problem with it um, the only you go to their website the only thing that you're gonna see is just a uh, an email contact us it's, it's just an email address nothing else no number nothing else like that so that kind of uh, that throws up a red flag for me because if you have a problem um, I mean who's to say that somebody's gonna get back in touch with you through the email now I didn't try and contact them through the email I didn't send them anything I just you know I just don't like that, that setup okay um, another thing about the box that I did not like it's not many things that I didn't like about it I was very surprised that this box is it is true to uh, what they say I mean it really you know just uh, it's, it's all around good device um, another thing I don't like about the box is that you it, you know it, it does come already pre-installed with all your stuff with 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 all the apps and add-ons and stuff but let's say if you don't know how to do this stuff uh, well you don't have any help they, they, they don't have any instructions on it it's just a uh, step it was, it's a step to guide step by step guide of how to connect this to your TV but that was it there's basically nothing else um, they did have a little a little verbiage on the cue card that said do not try to update the box that's another thing update the box do not try to update it but they tell you on the card to not update this box so you know that basically just tells you that you bought this device and then there's no you know there's no uh, no help for you I mean there's no updates coming uh, it's, it's it is what it is you bought it and this that's, that's the end of it um, so what, what if you have a problem with it what if it stopped working um, they're not gonna you know it's, it's like I said I, I don't like that setup but basically that's pretty much it that's the only thing that I didn't like about the box um, I would still say that this box would be for an advanced user um, I'm not gonna say that regular users can't can't you know average persons they can't buy this device I'm not gonna say that um, you could buy it um, and like I said before if you're a cord cutter or if you're looking in to be a cord cutter and you just and where you are you just happen to be in a rough area you, you're not able to get over the air channels your local channels this is an option for you this is definitely an option for you um, it's, it's super easy you buy the device uh, all you all you need is high-speed internet and you don't have to have the fastest internet guys don't let these um, these companies tell you uh, whoever you, whoever your internet provider is don't let them try to sell you the most expensive uh, tier that they have these guys they know this and they know that people don't understand that you don't have to have the fastest tier you can have a medium tier uh, as long as you have I would say as long as you have 10 mega 10 megabits per second 12 megabits per second you're fine you're super fine especially with these Android TV boxes you don't have to have 
um, the highest uh, megabit per second tier that they have. The, you don't have to pay for that. Um, th that's another way you can save yourself some money. Uh, I don't know how these companies, you know, like over here in, in California where I live, Cox Communications, they have like maybe three or four tiers. Uh, so you don't, you just look through it. You know, you have to decide for yourself what you feel is going to be, you know, uh, the best for you and your family. Um, it's not that much 4K content out there right now. So you don't have to worry about if you buy this box. If you do have a 4K television set, you're good to go. But if you don't, don't worry about it. You know, it's like I said, it's not that much stuff that's coming out in 4K right now. Uh, from my understanding, it's very expensive for uh, the studios to shoot in 4K. So everybody's trying to uh, ramp up their their uh, their system. Um, basically, I would wrap this uh, this 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 video this uh, review up by saying. Yeah, I think it's a really good device. Um, yes, I would purchase it myself. Um, if you're on the edge, I'd say, you know, order it and give it a try. If you don't like it, send it back. You know what I'm saying? And you can always you can always do that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really good device. I would put this right up there with the Matricom G. Um, the, it, actually, this, in my opinion, was easier than the Matricom G. The Matricom G had some things that I had to overcome. But this box right here was super, super easy. I mean, it was already pre-installed. Cody was already pre-installed. No problems there. Um, you, If you find the APKs, uh, if you're not familiar about APKs, go online and look up APKs and you'll, you'll find out everything you need to know about APKs. But um, yeah, this is, for my cord cutters, this is an option for you. If you happen to be in an area that you can't get local over the air television, um, you can buy this. The only thing, the only negative to it is that you won't get your local channels, your, your local shows. But, I mean, you will get everything else. Everything from movies, live, t live streaming TV. Um, you, you got it. This is, this is a, 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 a very good device in my opinion. So, thanks for, for hanging in there with me, guys, uh, through this, this long review. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and uh, drop the comments down in the comment section. And, uh, you know, hit me up if you, you know, if you have any questions or whatnot. Other than that, thanks for tuning into my channel. Uh, thanks for all the comments, guys. And until next time, stay tuned.